everybody. Welcome to our next exit. So we've all heard of e-bikes, but how many of you have heard of a U-bike before? Or at least I think that's how you pronounce it. U-bike at www.ubike.com. I'd never heard of it. And when they sent us an email about a month ago and asked us, would we like to uh, do a product review on their e-bike? I, I was not interested. I never heard of it. I didn't know what it was. It was kind of low price, so I didn't expect it to be too much. But I looked it up and I was pretty surprised. It got a lot going for it. And we ended up saying, yeah, send it on out here. It's got a 750 watt motor on it. And uh, that's as big a motor as you can get on a low speed electric bike and still be called an e-bike. So we, we got it. We've had it about a month. And I have to admit, I kind of like it. <laughs> I didn't think I would, but I really do. I've been riding it, especially this last week, I rode it uh, quite a bit. And let me tell you, I got it written down here because I'm going to forget a lot of it. But it, to start with, they're having a sale now. It's $899. $899. Now, if you look, you'll notice we've got a couple of our other e-bikes out here. We've got the Haybike Mars. It's on sale too, but it's on sale for $949. And then we got the electric uh, XP3. The electric XP3 is $999. So $899, $949, $999. So it's a $50 jump in every one of them. These two have got 500 watt motors. Pretty big difference. 750 watt motor. The battery, this has got the biggest battery. It's 12.8 amp hours. 12.8 amp hours. 12.5 in the hay bike and 14.4, no, 10.4. 10.4 in the electric. Ours is, we got the long range battery, so our battery is 14 amps. But the standard 999 one is the same thing, just a little smaller battery, 10.4. So 10.4, 12.5, 12.8 amps. It's adding up pretty good so far. Now, the 750 watt motor, it's no labels, it's not branded. But the Haybike 500 watt is a branded Haybike motor. And the electric 500 watt is branded electric motor. In my mind, that's all no branded. They all bought them at wherever they could get them and stuck their own brand on it. Top speed, this one here goes 25 to 29 miles an hour all day long. The last 25% of the battery or so we were going in the low 20s, but it was 27, 28, and we'd get 29 with some pedaling. Uh, the most speed we got on the hay bike, 20 miles an hour. And it's capped there. I think I took off the restriction on it and might have got 21 or 22, I don't remember, but it in the brochure it says 20. I think pedaling, I might have got another mile or two more. Now the electric has got a big controller on it. It's got a 20 amp controller. And even though it's got the little battery, it hit 28. It'll go almost as fast as this one. But it's because it's got a bigger controller. The, uh, the UE bike, the brand name is uh, N NXB Fat Tire. So this is the U bike NXB Fat Tire, is what it's called. 15 amp controller, 15 amp controller, 20 amp controller. And that's what let it go so fast. But what we did on all of our riding tests, if you watched any of our videos, I just pretty much skipped the pedal assist and do throttle, full throttle. And when I've stopped, full throttle to take off and it's full throttle all the way. I wanna know riding it as hard as I can, how far can it go? I weigh 210 pounds riding on the uh, bike. So I wanna see how far you'll carry 210 pounds riding it just as hard as you can go. If I was to ride it in pedal assist one, two, three, and you know, help pedal a little bit, I could double or even more than double these numbers, on, maybe. But the miles I got was 20 miles. 20 miles for this one and 20 miles for that one. On the electric, I have, as I said, the long range battery. I got 22 miles, 
but in the electric website, they say that the long range battery gets you 33% more distance. So you just extrapolate that down to if I was, if I had the 10 amp battery, I would have most likely got 16 miles. The math on that equals out to 1.6 miles on all three bikes. 1.6 miles for each amp hour it has in the battery. So if it has a 20 amp hour battery, or if it had a 10 amp hour battery, you'd get 16 miles. If it had a 20 amp hour battery, you'd get 32 miles. Riding it as hard as you can, strictly throttle. I think that's a number you can take to the bank. Another way to look at it is watt hours. All three of them took 30 watt hours to go one mile. And I think that'll work on just about any e-bike with throttle only running it hard. So you get more than this if you do some pedaling or you don't run it at full speed the whole time. But the worst mileage that you'll get is 30 watt hours for each mile. And pushing 210 pounds of weight. And so I'm six foot five, so that's a lot of wind I catch it going down the road and then a lot of weight it's carrying. If you weigh 170 or 80 pounds, you're gonna get a lot better too. So all of that, and depends on your terrain. If you're going up hills and stuff, obviously it's not gonna be quite that good. So all of that in a nutshell, oh, they all weigh 66 pounds, 66 pounds, and 64 pounds with the regular battery. And if you get the long range battery, it adds two pounds to it. So it's 66 pounds with the long range battery. The uh, luggage rack, 200 pounds we can carry on the uh, e-bike, u-bike. On the luggage rack, you can put 200 pounds. On the uh, electric bike, 150 pounds. And on the hay bike, 100 pounds. So 100 pounds on the luggage compartment, 150, 200. And the total payload, everything combined that it can carry, 300 pounds for the U-bike and 330 pounds for both the hay bike and the electric bike. So they're all pretty close to the same, but they went out on the total payload. The uh, tires, we got 20 by four inch fat tires on the U-bike, 20 by four on the hay bike, and then electric has 20 by three inch tires. So they're still, I think, kind of fat tires, but they're 20 by three instead of 20. Shifters, they all three have the seven speed Shimano turning derailleur and shifter. So those are all pretty much the same. And the pedal assist has got five levels, five levels on the electric and the hay bike. On some of them are, set it, are done at three and you can't change it. The newer ones, you can have either three pedal assist levels, five pedal assist level seven or even nine pedal assist levels. You can all change it in your con display controller there. They all have a front suspension and they all have the seat suspension. And uh, I don't think any of them do great with their suspension, but even a bad seat suspension and front fork suspension is better than none. And the four inch fat tires, that helps smooth the ride out quite a bit too. One thing I do like, I don't know why, but I just, I feel more comfortable with these regular metal wheels rather than the spokes. I read about you got, I never adjusted them as a kid on bicycles, but my understanding is you've got to keep that, uh, adjust them regularly every few months because you're going at pretty good speeds. You want, the, you want that tension set just right. So I kind of like having these solid wheels. The plastic fenders, they all have fenders. The electric is metal fenders, the hay bike and the U-bike are plastic. I don't mind the plastic fenders at all. It, there's no rattling at all involved with them. Uh, brakes, we have 100 and see, 160 millimeter mechanical disc brakes, 160 millimeter mechanical disc brakes, and then electric bike has 180 millimeter electric. I mean manual disc brakes. So they're all manual disc brakes. These two are 160 millimeters and the electric's 180. 
the battery. The electric bike has its own labeled battery. Hay bike has its own labeled battery. But the uh, U-Bike has a Samsung LG lithium battery. They all have lithium batteries, but it has a Sam Samsung LG battery. That I think is kind of important. These lithium, these are lithium irons. They can overheat. They're, the newer lithium, the lithium iron, I-R-O-N, lithium iron, they don't overheat and there's not any danger of fire. But with regular lithium, they, all of the books warn you, don't charge them inside of a building, charge them in a non-flammable uh, tray or something or outside, because there is that chance of them overheating and uh, catching on fire. It's a small chance, but it's a chance. So having the Samsung LG battery is probably a pretty good plus. So if you're looking for an e-bike, this is not the fanciest. This is obviously, all three of them are kind of entry level e-bikes. The display here is not great, not, you sound, I have to move it so I can see it. Once you get it lined up right, it's very bright and clear. But you turn and the sun changes, you have to kind of move it to see it. So I don't give it good grades on this display here. I don't give it good grades on its handlebars. The seat's not too bad. Pedals are not too bad. But overall, it's an entry-level bike. But it is the fastest. Got the biggest motor. Has a fair size battery. Better than, bigger than the other two, although not by a lot, but it's bigger and goes faster. So if you're looking for something, all-terrain, fat tire bike, foldable, they're all three foldable, which for most of us RVers are going to want a foldable R. Uh, e-bike just so we can carry it with us we don't have room to uh if you're pulling a trailer or fifth wheel you can't stick it behind your truck you might put it in the bed of your truck but anyway a lot of us are looking for foldable e-bikes uh, and they all look pretty much the same when they're folded they're about the same footprint whether they're upright or folded that's pretty much all the statistics i got for you i'm going to go get my helmet and let's go for a ride show you how it rides we're in pedal assist one. And it's going 14 miles an hour, 15 miles an hour. That's pretty fast for level one. Level two. Twenty miles an hour. Level three. Twenty-three miles an hour. Level four. About 25 miles an hour. Level five. Says 26.7 over on our uh, controller. And I'm gonna go ahead and give it full throttle and see where it goes. So 25 miles an hour, I think this is probably the fastest bike we've got. Pretty dang surprise. It's a good smooth ride, I'm going to go over here on the dirt. Not bad, not bad at all. Loose gravel because the rear wheel is spinning a little bit. So it was at a full charge when it was doing 25. We've only ridden a mile and a quarter. 
and it's already kind of grained down just a little bit, maybe more to a normal speed. So I'm not sure what kind of range we've got. I'm thinking it's going to be less than 20 miles. I'm going to have to watch that pretty close. Still going 25, it looks like. The GPS says 25. My bike speedometer says 27 and a half. So somebody's headed north. So 26, 27 miles an hour. Wow. Very impressive. So the shock, this, the front shock absorber seems to have some pretty good response. That's a pretty good shock. I don't feel much on the seat spring. So we must be going up a bit of a hill. It's slowing down quite a bit, down to 20. So my battery is down, it says almost a half of, or at least 40% already. We've only gone about four miles. Okay, now I'm having to pedal. We are going up a hill here and I'm having to pedal pretty hard. can become big problems in a hurry. And I almost made a big mistake. That's exactly what it looks like. My folded e-bike came unfolded. When I had it, uh, when I unfolded it yesterday, I did not push that lock all the way down in and lock it. Bad on me, as you can see, they've got a locking pin that goes right in and I don't think there's any way for it to come out. So it had to be, I didn't lock it in. So be sure and check that, you guys that have got these folded e-bikes. Super safe, as long as you do what you're supposed to do. Push that pin in and lock it. kind of rough. The shocks didn't do much to anything on that curve. So we've gone six miles and it's down 20%. So on that theory we could go 30 miles, but uh, I don't think it's going to do that. That'd be impressive.
That would be impressive. if we can go up this hill here. It's a pretty steep. So we're in first gear. Pedaling part of the way, I'm going to uh, see if we go up without pedaling. So the battery's not charged up, it's down 20%. And this is sandy, it's hard dirt, but it's got a coat of sand on it. So we're not going to pedal at all, we're in first gear. And we'll see if it can make it up. I feel it slowing down in the sand. And it's slowing down here quite a bit, but it's still 10 miles an hour. That's pretty good. Kind of a surprise, but pretty good. The bike is very, now then the wind's blowing the other way. That's kind of a neat set of stuff. The, uh, I guess we're going with the wind. So it's, this is pretty nice. Let's see how fast it'll go with the wind. Says we still, whenever we step on the gas, the battery goes down quick. It's down to 40%. When we were just cruising along at 12 miles an hour, it was 80%. It's still able to get pretty good, 27 miles, 28 miles an hour. up to 60 percent or three bars I don't know if that's 50 or 60 I don't know how many total bars there are but there's three bars there so I'm assuming that's 60 percent 40 percent now I'm going to slow back down to first gear and look at there, the bar it goes right back up So it may take a little longer than I thought to do this uh, test. I sure hope it'll do 20 miles. We're in uh, second gear and we're cruising at 18. So I think I may be helping it just a little bit. No, I stopped pedaling and put the throttle on and it's going right at, well, the 17. So second gear is set for 17 miles an hour. That's, uh, it's fun here on the road, but like on a bike path or any kind of crowded, crowded place, there's a lot of times you'd want to go under 10 miles an hour or under 15 miles an hour. <laughs> Thank 
18.86. The battery's kind of cutting in and out. I'm thinking that we're on our last hurrah. It's kind of jerky. I think we're going to head it home. Yeah, that's it. 20 miles, 0.06. So before I give our likes and dislikes, I got one favor to ask you guys. Would you put down in the comments, if you don't mind, can you get more than 1.6 miles per amp hour? And if so, do you weigh more or less than 210? Are you driving on level ground? And do you ha have the four inch wide fat tires? All that affects it quite a bit. I'm curious, I'd like to get a little bit more data and see if those numbers hold up. So put down there how many miles you can go on an amp hour using mostly throttle only and uh, with how big of a load, how much you, you weigh, and is it level ground. I sure would appreciate that. And now, here's some of the things that we like and don't like about the U-Bike. So I gotta say, that was a pretty good ride. And the U-Bike has turned out to be a whole lot more of a bike than I thought it was gonna be. But let's go over the things that we like and don't like. And I gotta say, probably one of my top things I don't like is the display. It's just small, and the buttons are real close together. So I would probably like to replace that. The handlebars or the grips, they just pull off. I've already ordered some new grips. I don't even know what this goes to. I guess inside there. So I bought some new, got some new grips on the way. The color i'm not really a black i got a lot of black stuff but black is just not my favorite it's a nice smooth pretty paint job shiny but i gotta say i like the color of the other bikes we've got uh, everything else we've got's got some kind of nice pretty color a lot of people like black so this probably is right up a lot of guys alley the latches as i mentioned that was totally my fault i'm sure i didn't have that pushed all the way down but I wish this latch was just the other ones that we have. We have two other folding bikes and they just seemed a little more secure. Although I think this is just fine. The front one is more like the other latches that we have. So I'm not concerned about it. I just wish it was different. And overall, I mean, it's the price is so low. You just gotta wonder what corners did they cut? How did they get the price that low? You got a great big battery, brand name battery, Samsung. That's one of the top line in the lithium batteries. And it's got a big motor, as big a motor as you can get. So somewhere they had to make that up. Maybe it's just in the profit margin, but that gives me a little concern, not knowing how long it might uh, last. But a bigger list of things that I do like, the price obviously is a, uh, great $8.99 I, I just don't see how they can do that the seat is pretty comfortable the suspension seat the shocks most of them have got the uh, shocks on them battery the right carrying 200 pounds I don't know that I'll ever need that well I won't because I weigh two over 200 pounds so it only leaves me about 80 or 90 pounds but it's nice to have a, it solid like that and the speed it's uh, got to be a class 3 bike because a class 2 can only go 20 miles an hour. So there's some places you legally can't ride it. You have to check your jurisdiction to see if it's okay for you to ride it where you're at. But that speed is really nice. I don't know that that's an issue with law enforcement or not. But when you're in traffic, it's going like 25, 30 miles an hour. It's nice to blend in with them. So I really do like the speed. The wheels, I talked about that. I think they're just a little more secure, a little more solid. And then one of the really good things 
is these bikes that have the brake light on them. You can see it's got the tail light and the brake light. I mean, I think that's just a great safety feature, having a tail light, brake light. Be nice if it had blinkers. And I'll show you what the lights look at at night. It has four big LEDs. I think they're going to be pretty nice lights. So we'll shine it out here against the wall and show you what that looks like. It's about 50 feet back to the shop. So you can see you've got a pretty fair amount of light. And the tail light shows up pretty good at nighttime. So all in all, we give it a good grade on the lights. Alrighty folks, there you go. That's just about everything we know about the NXB Fat Tire Bike. If price is part of your decision making process on which bike you want to buy, NXB's Fat Tire Bikes listed at $9.99. In their second anniversary sale, you can see $100 off. Use the code NXB. $8.99. I just don't see how you can go wrong. That sounds like a pretty nice package to me. $8.99, 750 watt motor, Samsung battery, 25, 28 miles an hour. Definitely one you ought to look at. So if you want to know more about the NXB fat tire bike from U-Bikes, We'll put a link down in the description box below. Click on it, see what you think, read some more of the information on it. So until we see you guys again next time, keep the wheels rolling, stay safe. We'll see you at the next exit, folks. Bye-bye.